Hello and welcome you now to the Lady Scorpius Tarot. I am your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019. Um, I ask for you guys to take the messages that resonate. If you do not feel like this story is your story, then please book a personal private reading from me. Ooh, excuse me. You can do so by contacting me on my website, www.ladyscorpiustarot.com, or by my email, Lady Scorpius tarot and iCloud and I just want to make a special announcement you guys now can book me on Instago for Android and iPhone users so at first it was on the iPhone now my Android people y'all can come on there and hit me up on Instago I'll leave all the information in the description box below all you gotta do is go to your marketplace on your phone and download the app okay and you can contact me directly on there my name would be tarot by Scorpius and yeah so I um, just want to tell you guys uh, a big thumbs up, big shout out to y'all for coming in and giving me a lot of views and a lot of um, a lot of feedback from the readings or whatever. I also want to say I appreciate y'all for booking readings for me and stuff like that. That means a lot to me, okay? So um, I have some new cards because I want to see if I can give you guys some different information, some new um, energy. Um, so I did buy the crystal. I, I bought a chakra deck from you guys. Um, the people that booked readings for me, this is what I was able to do get a new um a new deck so if you guys would like to have any different readings from me like i seen somebody asking me if i can do a singles reading or if i can do such and such you guys let me know like what decks you want me to use also if you would like to donate a deck to me so i can use it and read from that please do so um you can hit me up an email and i'll respond back to you okay so let's get straight into it this is for my cancer sun moon rising the venus for the month of july 2019 this is gonna be general messages only three card spreads i will clarify with my uh tarot deck as well even though this is the oracle deck so it's also going to talk about the chakras and what needs to be worked on but let's get into it universal spirit angels ancestors sending guides and masters please give me messages for my cancer sun moon rising and venus for the month of july 2019 actually give me message i love light and clarity for my cancer sun moon rising and venus for the month of july 2019 what message do you have oh wow what message do you have for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019? Actually, you get message I love, like, clarity. For my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019. What message do you have for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019? Give me one more card for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019. Okay, service. All right, so cancers, cancers. I feel like the overall energy we have is service, okay? And in this book, it talks about service is definitely about like giving back, okay? Like helping out the old, volunteering and stuff like that. So I feel like maybe some of you guys inside of your heart, like in your um sacral area, your sacral chakra, I feel like some of you guys are just really feeling that gut instinct to always service people, always help people out, always be in need and at the end of the day it's like do what makes you passionate i feel like some of you guys um it's not for you to start giving back to your community i do see that it's not for you to start giving back to your community service and things or this could be your energy right now you could be helping out volunteering at a nursing home um maybe you could be taking care of a, 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 a older parent an elderly parent um i see some of you guys definitely for the month of july is going to be having to, to um render your services to somebody and help them out okay um rather if it's uh, a family a family member that's getting old or somebody that's getting ill um or if it's like in a community center, maybe you guys um, work at a nursing home or whatever the case may be. But I really feel like the angels is around you right now and trying to push you to give back more and be more of a servant to um, your family or the people around you. Or this could just be your energy right now. This is what you want to do. But I just want to, like, like I said, this is a new deck, so I want to see what this is about. Like, yeah, I feel like some of you guys are definitely... Yeah, it's about attracting what you desire. Some of you guys, if you want to attract somebody that's really like a good servant to you... It's time for you to, like, find somebody, like, find a sense of joy. Find a sense of joy in, in services, okay? Strength and loyalty, okay? Um, maybe you feel like you don't know exactly, like, what you can do to um, give back to the community, okay? Or give back to people in your family or people in your life to service them and help them out, okay? But what I feel like is, like, joy. I see joy as the first card. So, it's like, some of you guys definitely going to be experiencing some type of joy. And I feel like the joy is coming from... In order for you to get the joy, you need to give back and do things that makes you happy. Volunteer, go out, start a youth a youth club, work with the children, something like that, okay? And I feel like it's really going to bring you a lot of joy because some of you guys are just searching for joy and you might be searching for joy in a vanity way, like in a vain-ass way. 
And universe is saying it's time to stop the vanity. It's, th it's time to enjoy yourself and do things to give back more, okay? Um, with vanity, I feel like some of you guys can be like partying a lot, over drinking, seeing things in vain, not really taking things, um, not really like communicating things like your true wants is kind of like, I feel like some of you guys could just be trying to do things to fit in the in crowd. Um, and it's like you, you're impatient because you know this is not you. Like you know this is not, I feel like some of you guys know it's just like you're just doing this shit to fit in because this is what everybody else expects from you. But this is not exactly who you are. Like it's like it's time for you to have a faith and awareness and have transformation, okay? Because I feel like um, you're living an illusion. Some of my uh, some of my cancers are living in a lie or illusion or maybe your self-doubt or you're comparing yourself to other people. But I really feel like some of you guys are definitely living in some type of false illusion. Uh, maybe um, people on the outside looking in might think that your life is like this and that. But really inside, internally, this is not how you feel. Maybe some of you guys... Are looking for joy and so you're doing things all over the place to um, bring it in but it's like in vain and it's making you really impatient okay like there's a lot of impatience going on maybe some of you guys are waiting for something to manifest in your life okay uh, or make waiting for the right time to come out and speak your truths because I definitely see like this is having to do with your communication okay this is definitely something with your throat chakra opening up communicating overall like it's time for you to communicate who you truly are okay give back you know what I'm saying? Give back. Um, be of a service to somebody, okay? Help out around the house more. Maybe some of you guys are needing to help out your family members more. Help out around the house more. Do more things within your family because some of you guys have definitely, like I said, been living in vain, okay? Some of you guys just want more, 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 and it don't matter if you get more, 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 you're still not happy about it. Like, you can get a million dollars, and some of you guys are like, oh, that's not enough. I feel like some of you guys have been trying to, like, Maybe if it, even if it's, like, work-related or career-related. Like, maybe some of you guys, like, you make a certain amount of money on your job, and, you know, this is like, okay, I got this, and it's like, it's not enough now, okay? It's not enough. I need more, okay? Um, I feel like also, like, maybe some of you guys could be over-generous to somebody or could be gluttoning, maybe over-drinking, um, you know, just looking for self-validation from other people, and it's just really not that's, not, that's not how it's supposed to go. Like, you're not supposed to be caring about what other people say or how they validate you or whatever the case may be because then you're going to live your life in vain trying to please other people and be a people pleaser. And these people don't really care about you. They just care about going out to a party with you, drinking with you, all the low vibrational things. And I feel like it's time for you to be open about what you truly want, what you truly desire. And I feel like this is not... Whatever you're doing right now, partying with multiple people, some of my cancers could be dealing with a lot of people going out drinking or dealing with multiple people, like going on a lot of dates and a lot of people that you're meeting are so vain. And it's like, you're just trying to find joy, but it's like, you're being really impatient about all these uh, impatient people. I mean, all these um, people that you meet and it's not of service to you. Either they're not of service to you, or they can't service you and at your highest state, okay? Um, and the universe is just saying, instead of doing all this with these people, it's time for you to just give back, okay? Your instinct is telling you that you're doing too much. I feel like even for service, some of you guys can just be taking care of somebody a little bit too much. That's not even that's not even really there for you, okay? But let's go ahead and clarify these cards and see what's going on. Because, like I said, these cards are new to me, so I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. And if the messages are all over, okay? But let's see. Why is the joy card here for my Cancer Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of July 2019? Clarify the joy card. Wow, it's a lot of cards that came out for joy. So I feel like it's some type of communication coming in um, with somebody. Maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But I feel like it's like fast action coming in. Like something brings you joy. Maybe some of you guys could be traveling a lot with somebody that you really love. Um, maybe you guys, um, you could have been around somebody that really made you feel really joyful, okay? Um, joy is connecting to your, what chakra is this? This is connecting to your instinct chakra. I believe the third chakra, yeah. So it's like your gut feeling. Your gut feeling is telling you to go out and do something that you enjoy. Have fun. Be of service to people. Stop living in vain. And I feel like you got some type of communication coming in about doing something that's joyous or something that's fun that's going to make you feel free, vibrant. I really feel like some of you guys are, with the page of cups, maybe you guys are connecting to a person, maybe a water sign or somebody that makes, brings you a lot of joy. And maybe you want to come in with an apology with them because I feel like at one point you was trapped in a situation or you had them feeling trapped and stuck and not moving forward, just stagnation. And now it's like it's time to make a decision. And I feel like some of you guys are just going through a, a phase where so you got to make a decision that what makes you happy. Like some, some of you guys definitely feel trapped and stuck, okay? Um, and you've been doing things that give you joy, but I feel like some of you guys have been living a life, a, a secret lifestyle, maybe a double life for some of my cancers. Please let me know if this resonates. But it feels like feeling stuck, and then you're having a moon right here and a choice to make, and then you have, like, fast communication, fast action, and then, like, some type of apology or love coming in or something where so you want to give your cup to somebody, but somebody's already involved or your heart is really somewhere else. Um, I feel like some of you guys could be living a double life or just be feeling stuck and trapped and... and Maybe feeling stuck and trapped within your mind, your body. It's really a mental thing. 
And it's time to come out there and speak the truth and be clear about things and make a decision, okay? But we're going to clarify some of these cards and see what's going on with this joy card. Um, I feel like some of you guys just want to be happy. You just want to be joyful. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups. So some of you guys could be connected to like a water sign, Taurus, Virgo, I'm sorry, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I see that as well. And I also see fire. Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like this person may could be your soulmate. Um, and this person makes you very happy. They bring you a lot of joy, but it's a decision that you need to make, okay? Feeling stuck and trapped and bound by your own actions. Maybe some of you guys could be connected to somebody else. And that's why you can't move forward with this person. And even though this person brings you a lot of joy, it's time for you to really make a fast move with this person. Because I feel like they are just waiting in limbo. Or they're just sitting there stuck making, waiting for you to make a decision. And they're getting impatient about this, okay? They're getting really impatient about this. Well, let's see. Um, why well, is the Ten of Cups here for my uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Browns, and Venus? Yeah, some of you guys was not accepting the offer because you'd rather be single. Maybe you get more joy out of being single, but this person's being really impatient because you know and they know that this is a soulmate connection that you guys have. This person is a, this is a completion. It's like a happy relationship, a happy happy love, all like abundant in love, happiness, connections, uh, reunions. You know, this person makes you feel like so sweet and connected. Like y'all feel like one. And I feel like this could be twin flame energy, soulmate energy that you have. But this person's getting really impatient because right now, like you're not really accepting they offer cancer or you're not really seeing the connection that you have with this person because like you're just being single right now. Some of you guys, oh, excuse me. Some of you guys could be connected to an earth sign that's not seeing the connection with you because they're just out here single, mingling, enjoying their independence, enjoying their fruits of their labor. It's going to be you as well, okay? Just overindulging. Some of you guys could be overindulging, and that's why I feel like the vanity card is here, okay? Um, because even though it's, like, cool to be in the Nine of Pentacles um, energy, whereas though you just, you know, reaping the fruits of your labor, sometimes it can be overindulging. And sometimes when you're so stuck on yourself and independence and freedom, you're not really seeing other opportunities of the other people that's in front of you, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Now, let's go ahead and clarify this vanity. Why is the vanity card here for my cancer? Some move rising in Venus for the month of July 2019. Clarify the vanity card. Why is the vanity card here? Okay. The vanity card here, just like I thought, it could be overindulgence because we have the seven of cups. And it's like confusion, okay? You have a lot of different options, okay? But you're not seeing clearly. I feel like some of you guys have um, chose to move forward with your life. Some of you guys travel. Some of you guys had traveled or took a vacation. You're trying to move forward and let people from the past fall by the wayside. Maybe third-party energies because it's like you guys definitely had a decision to make between two people. And I feel like you guys could have been tied to three different women for my cancer men or my cancer female. It could be vice versa. Um, it could be diff three different men that you was talking to. But I really feel like some of you guys also connected to a Capricorn. And you're married to this person as well. Maybe I feel like some of my cancers are definitely dealing with somebody they, they married, that's married or they're married too. But it's somebody else involved. And it's too much vanity going on. It's too much overindulging. It's too much confusion. Over drinking. Trying to please other people. But not doing the right thing. Okay. This is what I'm seeing for some of my cancers. It's like. Cancers. You definitely have a third party situation going on. And it's very toxic. Because we have the devil card. So some of you guys can be connected to a Capricorn. But like I said before. Whatever it is. It's like a sexual thing. Um, or addiction thing. A material thing. Whatever it is. It's like you guys are tied to a material realm addictions, drinking, alcohol, sex, whatever the case may be. And I feel like it's over and like you call it's causing you to overindulge and be vain about a lot of things. Some of you guys just want stability and support. Um and some of you guys are married, but I feel like some of you guys are tied to something that's toxic and you know it's time to cut it off with the will of fortune. Some of you guys will be cutting this off in the month of July, okay, with the will of fortune. Some of you guys will be moving forward away from karmatic information or karmatic I'm sorry, karmatic uh situations and you're moving towards your soulmate, okay? Um, let's see, why is the devil card here for my cancer? Some move rise in Venus for July 2019. Clarify the devil card. Yeah, the world card. Some of you guys know that it's time for you to end a cycle because you are in a relationship, but you've been really controlling and not really like, it's time for you to be very controlled about your situation, have control over your situation, cut this person off and move forward with this relationship. Because with the cycle cards, like some of you guys are coming to some type of completion. You're ending things. I see some of you guys connected to a fixed sign, Leo. I see Leo. I see Scorpio. I see Aquarius. And I see Taurus. So some of you guys connected to a fixed sign information. I mean, a fixed sign card. I mean, a fixed sign partner. <laughs> and you're in a relationship with this person. You're looking at this person like, I need to complete and end this 
third party shit because this is the person that makes me happy and joyful and i've been really living in vain right now not doing the right thing when i know i need to do the right thing because some of you guys are feeling stuck in your mind and trapped some of you guys cannot let go of somebody else that's, that you are already involved with like a, the other additional partner it's hard for you to let this person go because i feel like maybe this person brings you something that's like vain that you and that you're addicted to maybe like i said sex jewelry money traveling whatever the case may be um but yeah, the Seven of Cups, it's like, it's just too much uh, emotional confusion right now. And you're confused. You got a lot of options. Some of these, most of these options are illusions, okay? One person's wearing a false mask. One person's a snake. Somebody's only there for your money. A lot of people just there for the wrong reasons. And um, I feel like another one is a tower moment. Like, if you get with this person, it's going to be a tower moment with them. Because it's like, the situation was built off of faulty grounds and unstable situations. So it's like, yeah, like, what's going on, Kansas? Why is the Ten of Cups, I mean, the Ten of uh, Coins here for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for July 2019? Why is the Ten of Coins here for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah. Some of you guys just want to let go of something because you feel like somebody, like, maybe some of your Cancers are dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're still stuck and tied and trapped on a last relationship that they was with or a last person that they was with. And it's like, you want them to let go of this fucking... Excuse me, like, excuse my language, but you guys want them to just let go of this hold. Like, this person's trying to hold on to stuff. And it's like, you, like, it's time for y'all to let it go. And I don't know if this person's going to be doing it in the month of July because it came in reverse, but I feel like this person really wants to let go of the past. Some of them are stuck holding on to past memories, past hurt, past trauma, um, past options. And it's like, it's time for them to let it go. And I feel like, for some of my cancer that's dealing with an earth sign, I feel like they might let you go or they might let a situation that's toxic go, okay? A third party energy. Give me one more clarify. Yeah, the love is card. So it's like a decision to make. Somebody definitely got to get cut off. With the night, somebody could be coming in with harsh communication, just being really negative, really nasty, trying to cut you off. Because really, the reason why they're so defensive is that they have a choice between two lovers, okay? And this is why they're coming in really, like, cold, coming in really passionate. Like, could be even, like, really, like, really vindictive, okay? Really vindictive or manipulative or just really, like, feisty. And it also could be, like, angry, like, really hostile okay and the reason why they're doing this is because like i said they got a lot of options and they holding back from their feelings like they know that they have to make a decision between you and somebody else cancer but it's like you're willing to like you want to move forward you want to move forward towards the person that you love and be happy but it is a choice because it's like how can i move forward if this person is like got me in limbo okay and it's like you're really impatient right now between this person like you feel like they're just living in vain maybe this could be the other person they live in vain and it's just not seeing things for what it is, okay? So it's like you get real impatient with them. You just want to join your life and you want service. You want to do the right thing. But this person that you're dealing with cancer is very vain. And they're just impatient, okay? Or you can just be growing a lot of impatience with them. Because of what they put you through. Third party energy is confusion. They vain as hell. They're materialistic. That, that's just what I'm seeing for some of my cancers. And you just want to move forward with a new beginning. Now, I do see some um, choices between lovers too, though. But why is the impatience going here for my cancer? Some move out to the Venus for the month of July 2019. Clarify the impatience card for my cancer. Some move out to the Venus for the month of July. Yeah, some of you guys are waiting for your ships to come in. Like, you're like, if this person don't make a decision and move all the way towards me and move forward, I'm going to leave the situation behind and I'm waiting for my ships to come in, okay? And I'm going to get some peace because I feel like some of you guys just want to get towards your peace. You're being really impatient about waiting for this person. Maybe this person have you in limbo while they're waiting for their ships to come in or they're trying to make a decision. And you've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person. And it's just like, now it's just like you kind of just so impatient that you want to focus on self-healing and self-love and just your peace and happiness. Because right now it's like you need to heal. You need to heal. Or this person needs to heal because it's like they're not healing from the past, okay? Because somebody that they already left behind, they're not healing from it. And the universe is calling for them to do so. Okay, we have the... um. Okay, we had these come in reverse. So it's like somebody's spying. It could be somebody spying on your relationship, okay? Because maybe they feel like you're dealing with somebody that knows that you're not accepting their offer, Cancer. Or maybe you could feel like this person's not accepting your offer. So you're spying on this person to see if they're married or if they're involved with somebody else, if they have a baby mama. Some of them are pregnant or could be pregnant or have a baby on the way or a marriage that they're involved with because I did see a marriage card um, or twin flame energy right here. But it came in reverse. So it's like this person is spying on this relationship. And I feel like... Um, they're wishing cancer. This person is wishing for your relationship to crumble. Like they're spying on you. And I feel like they get like, this is the other party. I feel like this is the other party who sees the joy that you guys share between each other, but they're stuck because they stuck on you because of the sex or materialistic, whatever the case may be. Cause we had the devil card. It's like addictions that's in toxic addictions that's holding y'all together. 
And like this person just, I feel like some of you guys just want to move forward with happiness and peace, okay? But this person is not willing to accept the offer and see the potential of a happy, committed relationship because they just live in the main. And I feel like somebody from the past is like spying on you guys. It's like so many different messages coming in. It's like, wow. Wow. Why is it, give me another clarify for the impatient card for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019. I feel like some of you guys are really impatient. Like, you want love and commitment and happiness, but you feel like the person you're dealing with is just not on the same page. Like, either you're not on the same page with them and you kind of want to see what's out there a little bit longer and be single, or this is like your energy or their energy. And I feel like somebody definitely was coming off like an asshole because they had options. And they, instead of them just opening up and giving you their cup, they decided to be guarded with you while they explore, okay? I feel like somebody is not accepting the offer to nurture this relationship. And we have the same cards coming back out. Impatient. We have the four cups, the empress, and then the chariot. So some of you guys are seeing that this person is not. I feel like some of you guys see that the universe brought you somebody to you. A special offer, a love. But you're not seeing it because you're stuck in this third party energy. You're stuck in these emotions from the past, okay? And... It's time to nurture the situation and heal. Maybe this person wants to heal with you and grow with you. But the Empress card, this person is very nurturing and loving. They're really healing. Um, they could be a pregnant woman. Maybe somebody's pregnant. Um, or maybe you guys have been trying to get pregnant. For some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys have been trying to get pregnant. And you're really... You're being really impatient about it because it's not happening as fast as you like it to, okay? But I really feel like for the most part, like this person, like Cancer, you're willing to move forward. You want to move forward towards your happiness, towards your abundance. You want to leave any secrets alone, any negative thoughts alone. Whoever's not accepting your offer, I really feel like it's, you're coming to the last end of it. Like, whereas though this person is not on the same page as you, you're willing to move forward, okay? And just get balance and control of your life again and get peace back. Because I feel like now this person is like of this service to you. And it's like, they're not serving you at your highest state, okay? They're not. And it's time for you to move forward with what makes you happy. If it's servicing people, joy, getting out there, enjoying nature, traveling, whatever it is. Because it's like a lot of vain people around you right now. And they want to pull you down and do toxic things with you or overindulge and drink. And your intuition is telling you it's time to communicate your truths and move forward. I feel like you definitely got somebody that was being manipulative and sneaky because we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Magician in reverse. So this person was definitely trying to manifest something but doing it in a sneaky, conniving way. And they can't manifest 